I'll take anybody. Any trouble. Hey, you are looking at you! Come here now! Have you determined the cause of death yet? It's hard to say. Hard to say? His goddamn head is split open like a watermelon. What the hell do you think was the cause of death? And his back's broken too, Carl. Do you want to tell me which got him first? Is the warehouse empty? Guard said it was. I'm going to have a look around. What a screw-up. If it wasn't for his father, he'd be a janitor somewhere. <laughs>
Marduk. Let's see some ID. Slowly. Tell me, Professor, what's someone from the university doing here at 2 o'clock in the morning? I have an interest in these things. What things? Murder. Brutal murder. Without motive. There's always a motive. You won't find one this time. Call me when you're ready. Routine. You know the routine. Line there, please. And now, if you will please do it. Thank you. Good night, ladies. And See you tomorrow night. The woman. Get this asshole out of my face, will you? Excuse me, has your civil rights been abused in any way? Yeah, These officers are going to treat you. Get out of here, will you? Get out of here, will you? Get out of here, will you? You know, kid, we love you, but you're a real pain in the ass. Yeah, but Sarge, I just want to know what's going on. But nothing. You are a pain in the ass. So what? So you got to learn something sometime. God, Sarge, do we have to go through this ritual every time I come in here? Son, we're it. We gotta teach you right. You're not gonna learn it up there in a the newsroom. You know, I don't know why you never wanted to be a cop. You know, what the hell is newsworthy here? Yeah, we picked up uh, six more hookers tonight than we did last night. Yeah, great, great. Ah, oh, you're hopeless. Never again. I'm telling you, man, never again. We get another one of those calls, someone else is going. I've tossed my guts for the last time. Guys, yeah, he got his tossed too. All right, you guys, get over here. Now, what the hell is going on? I'm telling you, Sarge, they get another one of those mutilations and radio for backup on a prowler call, I quit. Take it easy. Sarge, you should have seen it, man. Rolled pizza. I'm not worse than the warehouse deal the other night. All right, okay. Probably some work on his way home. Where was it? The alley behind 30. All right, God damn it, shut up! If I wanted it blabbed all over town, I would have put it out on the radio. God damn you, Adens! Gene, Gene! That's police business! But I can't. I've got too many things to do before Sunday. <laughs> that happens to be four days from now. When can I see you? Maybe we could do lunch. Well, maybe I should make an appointment. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I mean, I get busy sometimes, don't you? Man, I have something to. Uh, never mind. What is it? It'll wait. What is it? There's been another Ripper killing. Where? Near Green and Third. I couldn't get near it. Uh, they said there was a bomb scare or something. How do you know it wasn't? What do you know about this? He's not gonna tell you. I overheard some cops down at the station. They don't call him in as homicides. Only the guys on the scene know what they really are. 
Is this true? Well? You know I can't talk about the case. These were supposed to have stopped weeks ago. How many have there been since then? What is really going on? I've got to go. I'm sorry. I'll see if I can get tickets for Sunday. Don't think about this. Don't print it. Don't do anything about it. Are you threatening me? No, I am asking you as one professional to another. Please, don't do anything about this. Well, this sounds like you're telling me. Maybe I'm telling you. But forget us. Forget lunch and forget the food. Look, can't we do something? Damn right. <laughs> Ms. Gilmore, are you nervous? Yes. You have no need to be. It's just you and I talking. And if you're telling the truth, then I, I have... Object. The witness is under oath. Sustained. There were three of you that supposedly saw the defendant shoot Mrs. Fielding. Why are you the only one here? I object, Your Honor. She knows full well why she's the only one here. She's just badgering as usual. I want to hear her say it, Your Honor. Objection overruled. Please continue. Why isn't Carol Anderson testifying? She's dead. I can't hear you. She's dead. She killed herself, didn't she? I object, Your Honor. She's not only badgering the witness, she's making things up as she goes along. I think the district attorney should prepare for his cases a little more thoroughly, or at least read the medical examiner's report. Overruled. She killed herself, didn't she? She committed suicide. No, she wouldn't. She couldn't. It just wasn't her way. Your Honor, the forensics report already in evidence clearly states that Carol Anderson's death was likely a suicide. She wouldn't. I'm telling you. What about Noreen Curtin? She isn't dead, is she? She's sick. I object. She's scared. Overruled. Yes. Yes, she's scared. Of what? What is she afraid of? Telling the truth? Is that it? Is she afraid of telling the truth? Or was she going to lie just as you are lying? Your Honor, this has gone too far. Stop her, please. Sit down. Miss Ravichon? I can't take this. I am as scared of you, of him, of all of you. Just leave me alone. I don't know what I saw and I don't care. I didn't see anything. Hey, nice work, Kavanaugh. Next time, at least get me a credible witness. Thanks. For sure. Detective Kavanaugh, Joe Waite. The Mighty Mouthpiece calls. Come on, Joe. We were both just doing our job. Mine's a little more righteous. Of course. Doesn't it bother you that he shot that woman for no reason and with no remorse? Well, why should it bother me? My only concern is to defend my client. And to get your fee. That too. How about dinner? My treat. I can't believe this. What is this, gloating? Charity? Opportunity to be with me. You should take advantage of it. Still the ego. Sorry, thanks, but no thanks. Excuse me, Ms. Ravishon, can we get a picture of you? Ms. Ravishon.
Judge Sean, may I ask you a few questions? Whatever. Certainly. This case was supposed to be airtight for the state. How did you ever expect to win? I always expect to win. Yes, you expect was to win. Was that a tactic? 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 Was that a tactic?
Excuse me, Chief. Close the door, Joe. Sit down. How's it going? Could be better. Yeah, I heard you didn't get a conviction on Vasquez. Ravishan broke down my star witness. There was nothing I could do. You know, your father was one of the best detectives we ever had. Maybe someday you'll be as good as him. But this department needs convictions now. The pressure is on, and it's going to get worse. And I'm telling you, Joe, if something doesn't happen real soon, someone in this department's going to take a fall. And it's not going to be me. You understand? Yes, sir. That's all. You can't be like him. All right, knock it off. Knock it off. Carl, get out of here. Your history, Kavanaugh. You hear me? History. What the hell's the matter with you? You bucking for early retirement? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm worried. So who cares? Have you found anything yet? What are we looking for? If I knew, we wouldn't be searching. Brutal murders, serial killings, something like that. Why couldn't all this be in the computer? Only the last couple of years are on the computer. something else. Ah, 12 murdered. I was just resting my eyes. Hey, look at this. I think I found something here. Here. This could be our man. Go to the files and see if you can find something on a Wilson. Earl Wilson. killing start. February the 18th was the first one. According to this, Wilson was released from Granville State Hospital on the 18th of February. What was he in there for? He beat his mother to death with his fists, and then he cut her... Oh, here, you read it. Maybe later. What do we do now? Find out where he lives. Huh. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Amanda. What now? You're not going to go talk to this Wilson. Maybe. I'm sure going to find out more about him. Mr. Simmons didn't say anything oh, about... Simmons has been on my case since I got here. I should be a hell of a lot further ahead than I am. 
But you have your own byline and everything else you need here. I had a lot more responsibility back in Dallas. But because I'm a woman, I have to start all over again. Besides that, I have to babysit you. You don't have to babysit me. I'm sorry. I'm just nervous and excited and pissed. Come on, let's go. Is there any more soda? Oh, you have an arm. Reach back and look. <sighs> no, I'm out of coffee. It's all gone. <sighs> Can we go to Mini Mart? It's just a couple blocks away. Look, do you want to be a reporter or not? <sighs> You know, Amanda, I don't even think anyone lives there. You know, I think you're right. Let's go in. No, no way. I mean, you, at least not tonight. Uh, we're both getting edgy, and I'm hungry. Let's get out of here. All right. and books about it. The Sumerians wrote about it. But you must realize that over the centuries, these stories became exaggerated. To make sense of what really happened, you must examine these legends within the framework of logic and reality. You mean, Professor, that we cannot accept the existence of demons as fact? No, no. What I'm saying is that we must determine what the Babylonians meant when they called someone a demon. What the people of Salem thought was a witch. Professor, it's Detective Kavanagh on the phone. I'll be back. Marduk. Professor, are you able to count for your whereabouts last night between 6 and 12 midnight? If you'll meet with me, Detective, I can account for a lot more. What? Have you seen the medical examiner's report? No, I haven't seen it yet. Then I suggest you pay the good doctor a visit. Mr. Kozlowski has a severed spinal cord in C2, C3, and C6. There are several well-defined lacerations in both the thoracic and abdominal areas, probably caused by a large metal instrument. Other internal injuries and fractures, I'll have to open him up to see. What do you think? What do I think? Several years ago, I 
did an autopsy on a man who had been killed by a wild animal, a gorilla. Long after he died, the ape continued to beat and maul his body. Mr. Kozlowski was dead in the first 10 seconds of the attack, which must have lasted, oh, three and a half minutes in order for him to have received the number of blows that he did. What you're dealing with here is a person who is crazed with unbelievable strength. Thank you, Doctor.
you seen anyone else down here? No, man. I didn't see nobody. Say, man, you ought to give me a buck for scaring the BGs out. Get the hell out of here. Now! Sure, sure, man. I'm, I'm going. I'm leaving right now. Shit kicked out of me. I thought, first thing, take a swim. Life is a bitch. Shut up. Here, wipe the blood off your face. Thanks for the sympathy. Clean up. Get your clothes changed. Hug it. Did you have a nice day? How much more of this can we take? As long as it takes, we're gonna find out what's going on here. Yeah, if our back ends don't work. There he is. I wonder what he's doing. What are those packages? I don't know. They look like hunks of meat. You know, hams, legs, things like that. Maybe they're parts of people. Your imagination's working overtime. Besides, we haven't heard of any missing body parts. Well, how could they tell? I mean, they probably couldn't put the pieces back together. Besides, you don't know what's happened over the last couple months. Probably just spare auto parts. There you go. Still, damn it. Does it hurt? No, I can't feel anything in my eyes. It's one hell of a cut. I think it's time to call Joe. For what? To tell him we've been watching some lunatic carry packages in and out of the house? Here he comes again. With those packages. How are we gonna find out what's in those packages? By going in. Yeah, with the police. We're not gonna call the police until we're sure we have a story. Oh, great. I can see it now. Two reporters die trying to get a story. Yeah, that's a great story. Found 
Good. Give me the code. I'll punch it in. Six three two three zero nine. His last address. Wilson. Earl R. Wilson. Holy shit. August 13th, 1983. Convicted. 13 counts murder one. Found criminally insane. The lights just went off. It's coming out. And we're going in. No way. No way. Do you want to get a story or not? Do I want to live? Yes. Come on. Amanda, you are crazy! <sighs> hey, Zeus Marimba. Are you coming or not? I'm coming. Should we go around back? Ah, oh, shit. Find those packages. Amanda! Amanda! I think I found something! What is it? It's blood. I think it's from in here. Open it. It's locked. Break the lock. Break it with what? I don't know. Find something. Here. Hey. Tell me, what the hell are the two of you doing here? We've been watching them for days. Why don't you say something about it? Like you did when I asked. Yeah. 
Well, you might as well get some pictures. You deserve that much. But just don't print anything. We owe you that much. I got rid of you. You've got a problem, detective. What's my problem? I'm just telling you it's not over. Even if Wilson does die. How do you know his name? When you're ready to listen, you know where to find me. Who was that? Some crackpot from the university. What did he mean about it not being over? It's over. Ignore me. Are you all right, kid? I understand you uh, tried to be a hero. Yeah, if it wasn't for Joe, I wouldn't even be here. Yeah, I know. Well, this is it. Now, you can use this only at night and not for more than two hours at a time. And Brownie knows we're using it and I'll log it on his time. It only owes me. Well, it only cause you any problems, Sarge. Ah, don't worry about that. We can handle it. <laughs> I'm probably gonna ask you out. <laughs> hey, look, for God's sakes, be discreet, will you? I hope you learned something from it. I right, sit in here. These are the normal commands that'll help you save time. Hey, don't leave them lying around and don't lose them. Okay. Right. Thanks, Sarge. Okay. Oh, yeah. if you find anything. Anything at all, you tell me or Joe. Okay. <laughs> me or Joe. You got it, kid. Okay. All right. Doctor. Detective Cavanaugh. How is he? I think there's something you should know. Basically, it comes down to this. Four of the six shots you fired into Mr. Wilson should have been fatal. I think he may even be improving. I don't know what's keeping him alive, but it surely isn't me. Will he regain consciousness? At the rate he's going now? Probably. I think maybe we should keep him down here. This room is more secure. I'll send down another guard. Sarge, I think I may have something here. So soon? What is it? Oh, it's big, Sarge. I mean, really big. I gotta do more checking now. They're gonna make me edit the paper after this. This isn't something we should be telling Joe, is it? No, no. It's uh, just a story right now, but I gotta do uh, more checking. But if I find anything out, I'll let you know. Okay. Hey, kid. Parts of 14 bodies, less than $18 found at his apartment. Joe. Doesn't make any sense. There is still no motive. Joe, we've both had a really long day. Can we put this aside, at least for now? What about your story? I'll write it soon enough, believe me. 
I'm sorry for the way I acted. right here. Kavanaugh here. What? I'll be right down. Wilson was found murdered in his hospital bed 10 minutes ago. I thought it was over. He said it wasn't. Who? A crackpot from the university. you know what I'd find at the morgue. I told you I could help you. You haven't told me anything. Maybe I should just arrest you. Do what you want. But first, just listen. Okay. I'm listening. Most people believe that all living things have a spirit, a soul. But I think you'll agree that nature makes mistakes. I'm not out here to discuss philosophy. Nor am I. Life with soul is normal. That is good or evil, moral or immoral. But there are those without the constraints of soul who are totally amoral. They have no feeling for any other life. Without the limitations of conscience, they're free to push the limits of evil. Dictify time to leave me in the tree. Four hundred children in a crop on the field. I hate this. Mm. 
Oh yeah. What am I doing? What you're dealing with is one of the Zul. Come on. You're talking about mythical demons? No, I'm talking about the myths created from them. The legend of Zul is actually a composite of nine of the most vile and horrifying creatures to ever walk the earth. They're responsible for all the unexplained evil on earth. Demons, devils, witches, mass murderers. These are the packages they come in. They are your Satan. The worst of these Zul, the Babylonians called Maxim Zul, the ultimate evil. The Sumerians referred to them as the Rabishu. We have soul. When these creatures feed, they release the life force that holds that soul. When they kill, they are nourished by that life force. It gives them strength. You mean they kill to live? And for pleasure. It's an addiction, Joe. Why do they rip apart the bodies? To release the life force more rapidly. To get a faster, more intense high. Do you think Earl was a Zool? Yes. He was on the primitive end of the spectrum, but no less brutal. What about the others? When they're highly developed, they can become almost anything. Let's say I believe you. How do we stop them? Get an exorcist? Please, Joe. We have no control over them. They'll stop at nothing. Well, then how the hell do we stop them?
the ancients used to sever their heads. Okay, Earl R. Wilson. Let's start with the cellmates at Grenville. Oh, and give me a list of anyone who's done business with a scrap metal yard. Had to be someone... Had to be someone with unbelievable strength in their hands. Do you believe there are people born without a soul? Yeah, sure. Do you believe they could have superhuman abilities? No. It's a long shot. I'll get Wilson's prison record. Joe, I can't find Gene anywhere. Don't worry, he's around somewhere. You two do have a way of getting lost in your work. I know, that's what worries me. Nobody's lived for him in 24 hours. In Brown's apartment. Is the first place I looked. Let's go talk to Sarge. Okay. Kavanaugh, what's the matter? Somebody lose their puppy? Carl, you're just not worth it. Part of this is starting to make sense. Oh, really? What? Gene figured that in all the killings, there had to be a correlation. On the surface, most of this doesn't make any sense. But look at this. Some of the victims over the last six months had a common thread. They were all witnesses in ongoing trials. They also had another link. Joe. In all the cases, they had the same defending attorney, Phyllis. There has to be a connection. What's the connection? I told you, she made me feel uncomfortable. What you said? Look, that... we went out once, dinner. I took her home, and that was it. But you said only part of the murders were connected to the witnesses. Now, isn't that what you just said, Joe? Yes, and assuming we're not all crazy, we have proof that Earl committed about a fourth of the crimes, the ones that were robbed, which means there might be someone else. Do you think he had a partner? No, not a partner, but maybe someone he works for. Someone the Sumerians refer to as the Rabishu. Look, at the bottom of the page, Gene wrote in the margins, look at names. At first, I didn't know what this meant. But Phyllis's last name is Ravishon. The Sumerian creatures are the Rabishu. It's too close to be a coincidence. I may be crazy, but she does have one hell of an ego. It's not any crazier than anything else in this case. How can we connect Phyllis with the murders? I don't know. But I found out that she has a home out in Herndon, besides the penthouse apartment downtown. Can we get a warrant? You're not gonna get a warrant. 
Okay, Joe, now, let's slow down for a minute. They, they call Maxim Zools, and they have no soul. Now, Phyllis Rabishon is, what, uh, probably uh, 5'8", 120 pounds. But she's got this edge, and you think she's able to tear apart bodies. I want to tell you, the chief was right. You have gone overboard. And besides that, you're friggin' crazy. You're not going to get a single car or a single man. And as far as I'm concerned, listen to me, you should run, not walk. Find the nearest shrink. Ah, that's all. Do you believe me? Come in. Chief. I've got a couple things I'd like to talk to you about the case. Yeah, and likewise. How well do you know Phyllis Ravishon? Professional. Really? You were seen with her at a fancy restaurant downtown four nights ago. Amanda Treat, the writer. You know her? I see her. Yeah. Is that how she found out enough information to get her reporter friend killed? No, wait a second. Joe, you're off the case. You're hereby suspended. Carl Harding is going to take over the murder investigation. Why don't you get your act together? John, this is Charlie down Warehouse C. Yeah, go ahead, Charlie. Yeah, well, some man right down here. I, I'm going to check around back, okay? Yeah, okay, copy that. Downstream. 
Let's check it out. Well, call for ambulance and backup. We're going in. Is he crazy? We gotta wait for backup, man. Come on. We should have shank up. We're going in. We're going in there. I'm tired of your chicken shit. Now. apartment's empty. So's the house. We got a call down at the warehouse where the dock worker was killed. From the industrial park? Yes. We just found Gene's camera. Sarge will have to believe you now. I'm gonna take it to him, but I'd explain everything. I'm heading down to the warehouse. Good. Let's go.
I offered you everything. Why didn't you take it? It was you all along. <laughs> of course it was me. You could have had it all. And now you have nothing. What are you? No more questions, Joe. You're out of time. <laughs> Get back, Phyllis. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Stay back! <laughs> Thank you. 